also Ralf and Etienne. We are very happy um, that we are here. Uh, thank you for having us. And it's your first interview together as a couple. Yeah, it's true. Uh, first of all, pleasure you are here. And yeah, as a first interview. And uh, well, I think it's about time uh, just also to do that and, uh, you know, to show ourselves in front of television also because obviously uh, newspapers we have. Yeah. So... Yeah, it's true because, uh, you know, since the coming out of Ralph and uh, we got a lot of attention from a bit all around the world and uh, it was also important to give the first interview uh, to um, German media. Uh, so to RTL was also, it's, so it's, it's a pleasure to host you here in saint -Tropez, really. So was there one special point to say, so now it's time to, to, uh, to show this picture um, of you together uh, on a boat and uh, Ralph, you, you um, say that you are very happy with him. So was there a special point? Well, I mean, first of all, I think uh, it's a special relation that we have since uh, more than two years, but since more than two years, uh, we live together more or less. And um, it's just beautiful, but obviously it's, it's something that I wanted people to know because we want to move naturally and normally around, and that was the reason why. Mm -hmm. uh, the day uh, was not, was not, you know, was just a feeling to do it now, that's it. I mean, uh, we were planning to do it a bit earlier, but it didn't work for some reasons. Mm -hmm. So I didn't know when he posted that picture. I didn't know, and it was for me a big surprise because I was not ready. Uh, we talked about already, but um, but at the end he made his decision because he was uh, already famous. He was already someone, and me, I was just by his side. So uh, it was more important for him. That's why I'm very proud of him because he made that decision uh, and he knew also the consequence and uh, we got after that a lot of requests uh, everybody was talking a bit about him and uh, about us of course and but I'm, I was very proud it, it was a surprise I was a bit afraid at the beginning I have to say but after that was okay uh, because I had the feeling it was also the, the right moment to do that for him and uh, even if we cannot plan something like that it's not possible to plan that but uh, we had a very nice day that day and that picture was made not here in Saint-Tropez mm -hmm. but in a place where we love to, to live. It's in South Africa, in Cape Town. We were on a boat. It was an amazing, um, an amazing evening with a beautiful sunset and uh, someone made the picture for us, a friend of us, and Ralph always said to me, you know that picture, maybe one day we will use that picture to do something together. And uh, but we were here in Saint-Tropez because we are in Africa uh, just in winter. Um, and he used that picture and he posted it. Right? And then uh, everything came after and uh, was a bit stressful at the beginning. Was a bit, I, I was a bit afraid, like I said, but, uh, but now it's all okay. So now it's time also to give an interview and to talk to the people because for sure, they want to hear, they want to see, they want to understand how it's working. Mm -hmm. Ralph, when and how did you realize that you are homosexual? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, first of all, I, I, as I said, it was never planned, but then, you know, honestly, it, it's just, uh, I think there's a lot of trust needed and to, to meet that right person, and that's much more important. Uh, despite uh, the fact uh, what, what, you, what sexual orientation you have and that in Etienne I found uh, as, as, as my partner and uh, somebody I uh, would like to have next to me. And then, yes, obviously, uh, I realized he's a man. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, you know, there's, uh, I think we're in the modern world and there's always room for love. doesn't matter who you are and what you are. And I don't know if we can ask that question because sometimes, you know, like for Ralph, he was in love with a woman, he stayed with her uh, almost 15 years, uh, so he didn't play a game with her because when you stay with someone 15 years, it's because you are in love or you are very attached to that person. Uh, and, in, and in life, uh, the life is short and um, maybe if something changes, if we feel differently, if we feel maybe we can be also in love with a man or a woman, it doesn't matter, but we have to live our life. And it's also uh, the message uh, we wanted to give to the people. Because some people, sometimes, they can feel they are gay or lesbian, it doesn't matter, but it has to live their life. Mm -hmm. Live your life, do whatever you want, 
and nobody has to judge for that. So it's also a bit the message. We don't want to be an example for the people, but just to give that message. Live your life, do your life, be yourself, and that's it. And everybody, when it's honest, um, everybody understands that. Everybody can understand. When did you fall in love together? When? When? <laughs> Well, now it's, it's a while ago when he says always for him was more clear in the beginning. But uh, I think three, well, we know each other like five, almost six years, but five years five for years, sure. Years. And three years ago, three well, and a two half. Two years, two years well, for you. Three. Right? Two, no, because we, we met the first time uh, in 2019, but the very first time. And we, we did. <laughs> and after that, we, we, we lost a bit the contact. And uh, we met again after the COVID time. Uh, just for a few moments when he was here in Saint-Tropez because I was living in Nice at that time. And, uh, and then he decided to invite me for, uh, for a Grand Prix. It was in Le Castellet, so 2022. It was in June, I think. Uh, and since this moment, we stayed in touch very often. We started to see each other more often, but it was not so easy at the beginning because it was... He used to spend a lot of time, of course, in uh, Austri Austria, in Germany. He was traveling a lot. Me, I was in Nice. Mm, and so, but, but we stayed in touch. And uh, after summer, or just during summer, uh, he decided to invite me that time in Saint-Tropez. And then we spent a lot of time together. And since this moment, we, 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 we were together. Mm -hmm. yeah. But for me, it was clear already. But for him, he did a bit of <laughs> So, love on the first sight, and for you... You, you took no, your time. It's, it's not. It's not that. Maybe you know. It takes some time to be to be ready and open for a relationship again. Uh, I didn't think I would have another one in my life after my divorce. To be honest, but yeah, then luckily it worked out that way. How did your ex-wife react? Well, I mean, I only know the official one. Unofficially, last year she was happy for us. <laughs> <laughs> This is clear. Uh, and also a very good friend with, with um, Etienne for a while, for different reasons. Uh, we, we, you know, I stopped the contact a bit, but anyway, uh, things, uh, things went on. Yeah, and then I just recently read she's completely surprised, which, which is a bit of a shame. I think it's, it's not fair, not fair to him, not fair to us. Because she knew it and, you know, it would be much more fair if she lived her life because we wish her all the best, for sure. And I always did when she had her new partner, so, and I was expecting her to, to feel the same about me. And what is a bit of shame is because Ralph is someone very elegant. So uh, when we were together as a couple, he said, okay, I have a son, I knew that, but you have to meet my son, you have to meet David, you have, we have to spend time together because it's a family and we have to spend a family time. So I met David, I had a great connection with David, so it was amazing, it was perfect, it was never a, a discussion. And then he said, there is Cora also in my life, because she is the mother of David, and even if we are divorced, we are still good friends, I have to say, and uh, she was my ex-wife, and she's still a part of the life because she's still a bit around, and... So, and she was asking him to come in Saint-Tropez because she knew, because someone probably told her, ah, there is Etienne now with Ralph and so on. And so she knew that and she wanted to come in Saint-Tropez. And I said, yeah, of course, of course she's welcome. Uh, and, and now also, I have to say, she is still welcome. Uh, if she wants to come back, it's not a problem. We find a moment and she can come back. It's, it's, not, it's not an issue at all. And then she came here and, uh, and was clear. The, we were sleeping together, so she understood everything and was everything okay. And she was happy. And we were happy for her also if she could have a new relationship. Why not? Why not? It's a life. It's like that. So that's why I'm very... Now, okay, I'm adult enough... Uh, but uh, I am a bit disappointed, I have to say, because we had a, a nice moment together. It was one week, and uh, I couldn't expect to have so, so good connection with her. And I think she was also nice to me. She had a good connection to me, because after, when she left, we stayed also in contact, and we planned to see us again. She wanted to come back, and then was a bit of discussion regarding something else. But, uh, but until her participation to the jungle camp... We were in touch, and we, unfortunately, the last message I sent to her was for, for her birthday. She didn't reply because she blocked us everywhere. So she cannot complain to say, ah, why Ralph didn't involve me? Uh, but on the other hand, she, we are blocked everywhere. So how oh, we can reach her? 
We have to send a letter, maybe. Uh, so it's not so easy. Huh? Would you say the same, Ralph, that she can come, that you invite her, and that you are open for for a new connection? Well, I mean, first of all, we are divorced, and she should live her life, and we live ours. But there is no reason against to meet yeah. sometimes and to have a, a good relation. You know, it's, it's also good. I mean, we are the parents of our son. And there will be occasions, uh, who knows what the future brings, if he gets married one day or whatever. Mm -hmm. So yes, for sure. Ralf, how long was your homosexuality uh, a secret and why? Mm, actually, not, not so long because, you know, it only happened in the, in the last few years. But, you know, we never talk about private life. So I think it doesn't matter what you are. You normally don't talk about your private life. It's only news because we are man to man or it's also news when women to women have a relationship shouldn't be an issue 24 anymore but it obviously is because normally you know we just live a normal life like anybody else now it's 2024 but what what happened in 1997 when you were on top in the formula one well i mean okay and no. we had the question i mean for 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 me i have to say if I'd felt that way, I would have done it. Uh, obviously, I would never have had um, a wife and kid then, you know. But it was not that way. So for me, it all developed later. It's the second part of my life, a different one. But, uh, f you know, I'm strong enough from a point of, you know, as a, as a character. I, had to I would have had the support from my family. Financi financially, I was already there, independent. So for me, it would not be a problem. And maybe you cannot compare motorsport to football that I don't know but uh, I if I would have felt to do I would have done mm. what do you love each other what do you love on Etienne and I don't know I think it's a bit everything you know it's also the connection we have together like a normal couple a normal couple in love what do you love uh, to your partner but you love uh, physically also first of all because when we don't know the, the person we are attracted to, to this person, so there is an attraction, very intense. And uh, I like, I love uh, his character, I love uh, his way to do the things, I, I, I love everything. And I have to say, uh, because we live together almost 24-7, almost, because sometimes he has to leave for a race or for, uh, to, to work for one or two days. And, uh, and it's at this moment we, we realize, oh, the, pe the person you love is missing. Uh, when we are together all day long, well, we are together, it's all fine. We, are, we fit well together, I have to say. It's never a discussion or a problem between us. Uh, but when he's gone, I, I feel differently. I'm a bit sad. I'm not in a good mood. I'm not angry. I don't want to see anybody. I don't want... I have a bit of difficulty to enjoy the life if he's not here. So I think it's what we call love. When someone is missing for you, you cannot yeah. live really like you will live if he was by your side. And Ralf? Yeah, it's more or less the same. So, you know, it feels more complete when we are together. It's strange if I have to travel alone because obviously Formula One for him is kind of interesting, but sometimes not so much. So I have to work during the day. So then he stays home sometimes, which... I miss him a lot in the evenings, it's clear. Um, his reliable and calm character I like. Uh, he's a very honest person. Uh, yeah, and, and I think we match in all means. I don't know, it, it's just automatically. Because I think for already it's not a long, long time, but I have to say, you know, spending so much time together every day and uh, nobody feels forced to do anything. We, we like to do the things, uh, you know, we, we accept the characters, the strengths, the weaknesses of the, if there is some, of the other person, and that's it. Could and we share also the same patience, I have to uh -huh. say, yeah. because we like to do sport, a lot yeah. of sport. We like the nature. We like to travel, for example, in Africa, in South Africa, because the country... He found that country first, huh, before me, and then I came, and then I was totally surprised. And, and because we have the same taste, we like normally the same things. So uh, yeah, we like to host people, we like, <laughs> we like to host, we like to, show, to organize yeah. a party, we like to, to have people around, some friends always mm -hmm. coming and leaving. And, and this is our life, and we like that. So. Could you imagine to marry again and to have children together? Well, children for sure not because we have, or yeah. I have. <laughs> <laughs> 
So that's fine. It's David's job uh, to, to maybe make me a granddad mm -hmm. soon. Uh, and I, I, in the beginning, I thought I'd never marry again. But we, who knows what times bring? I mean, why not? It's you know, if if the two um, feel feel the same, why not? Could be nice. 